This exercise is all about deleting paragraph and extra spaces between words and the spell and grammar check. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the show and hide on. So make sure that your home tab is selected and from the paragraph group click on show and hide. That will then display all these little marks here. These represent every time the enter key is um, pressed on the keyboard and then the spaces here between the text shows every time the spacebar has been pressed on the keyboard as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the extra paragraph spaces here. Make sure the cursor is flashing at the beginning of the first space and using the delete key on the keyboard just press that until there's only one left and that's actually deleted all your paragraph space in there so I'll just show you that one more time place the cursor at the beginning of the space and then using the delete key press it until only one space remains so now we're going to move on to um, deleting spaces in between text so I'm going to place the cursor at the end of mountains make sure the cursor is flashing at the end and then using the delete key keep on pressing that until only one space remains just show you that again make sure the cursor is flashing at the end of the word and then using the delete key on the keyboard until only one space remains. So we're moving on to the second line here now. Place the cursor at the end of S using the delete key until only one space remains. So that's tidying up your um, extra spaces that's been created throughout the document. The next thing we're going to go on to is spelling and grammar. Click on the review tab and from the spelling and grammar option and then the first word that's been identified is walking and if you look in the background here it's highlighted as well so that you can see where, where you are in the document the suggestion for walking is down in the list so you need to make sure that the one that is selected is the actual correct spelling error click on change and you'll see in the background that it's moved on to our next era. This time it's year. Just check down the list to make sure that the suggestion is the correct one. If it is, click on change. Now what it's done this time is it's picked up on a Welsh word. Brecon is spelt correctly. So we're going to ignore once here. So we can ignore that that's a spelling error. And then the last spelling error is mountain. Ensure that the spelling errors they've suggested is the correct spelling. And then click on change. Once you've gone through the, the whole of the spell checker, you need to click on the OK button to close it down.